Quarter 4, Week 4, Science 3. For today, we are going to tackle types of weather and activities during different types of weather. Learning competency with code. The learners should be able to describe the changes in the weather over a period of time. Last week, we've learned about weather. Weather refers to the weather condition of the atmosphere. Do you still remember what is the meaning of the acronym PAGASA? PAGASA stands for Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration. It is the government agency in the country that studies weather and perform other meteorological observations. It also informs the public of the weather condition in our country. We also discuss that Weather may be communicated using symbols. Weather is described as sunny, windy, cloudy, rainy, stormy, and snowy. The weather is sunny if the sun shines all day. Thin and wispy high clouds are scattered through the sky. The temperature is quite high. On cloudy days, the sky is mostly covered with clouds. The sun does not show itself at all. We also discuss windy day. The weather is windy when the winds blow strongly but no rains. Can you describe what is rainy day? Rainy days come with dark clouds that bring rains for most of the day. There is also light to moderate the wind. What is this weather? Very good. Stormy day. The weather is stormy if it rains heavily. There are strong winds, lightning, and thunder. Branches of trees may twist and break. Do you still remember what is this weather? Very good! The weather is snowy if small particles are falling from the sky. This only happens in countries with very low temperatures like Japan and USA. Observing the atmosphere tells you what the weather is. Predicting the weather will help you plan your activities for the day and for the next few days. Weather affects the activities we do. Animals and plants also behave differently during different weather conditions. What do you think is the weather? Very good. The weather is fine. 
Almost all people go out on a fine day. Children like you go to school while your parents go to work. What are the other activities you do when the weather is fine? Very good! On a fine day, you can help clean the yard or wash and hang the clothes outside. Clothes dry easily when it is sunny. When the weather is fine, you can also go swimming or have a picnic. Can you do all these activities on a rainy day? Very good! You cannot do these activities. Fishers usually dry their catch under the sun. Fishes dry easily on warmer days. Do fishers catch fish on stormy days? Is it safe to stay in the sea when there is a typhoon? Why? How about on a rainy day? Can children go outside to play? What things can you do on rainy days? Hmm. During rainy days, children cannot go outside to play. They just stay at home and play computer or indoor games like chess and scrabble can you name other activities that you do during rainy days when do farmers work in the field very good they usually do so after it rains what do you think is the reason hmm very good. It is easier to plant palais seedlings on a wet rice field. Also, enough rainfall makes plants grow well. But too much rainfall causes floods that destroy plants. In countries with cold climates, Children mostly stay at home to keep warm. They sometimes go outside to ice skate and make a snowman. Weather also affects the food we eat. What do you usually eat during cold weather? Your mother prepares some hot food for the family on rainy days, just like sopas and mommy. We also use fans to keep ourselves cool. We wear sunglasses to protect our eyes from the glaring sun. Some use cups or visors to protect them from the heat of the sun. During fine or warm days, people wear thin clothes and shorts. During rainy or cold days, we wear thick clothes such as sweaters or jackets. Umbrellas or raincoats are also used for protection. Do not wet in the rain. You might catch a cold or a fever.
During snowy days, people wear thick jackets and gloves, earmuffs, and boots are also used to keep your ear and feet warm. Now, let's have some activities. Let's continue the activities from last trick. Activity 4, Minds On. Study the 5-day weather forecast below and answer the following questions. Number 1. What is the weather condition on Thursday? What do you think is the weather condition on Thursday? 2. What is the possible weather condition on Saturday afternoon? What is the possible weather condition on Saturday afternoon? Number 3. Describe the weather condition on rainy days. Describe the weather condition on rainy days. Number 4. How will you describe the weather condition on Monday? How will you describe the weather condition on Monday? Number 5. Why is it important to predict weather? Why is it important to predict weather? Activity 5. Stop, look, and see. Observe the weather and record your observations in the chart. Example is done for you. Date. The day must be also written. The time. The kind of weather. And describe the weather. For example, April 3, Monday, 6 o'clock a.m. The weather is sunny. Description. The sun shines brightly. 